What's up, guys? Kip here, and today I am joined by BL Bricks YT. Hello, guys. So today he pretty much built a mock for like uh, resistance troopers, and then I built one for first order troopers. And today we're kind of going to be going through each one, and then at the end we'll kind of combine them or put them next to each other to make like a resistance versus fourth first order mock together. So it's going to be pretty cool. Do you want to show them your mock first or what? Uh, uh, I'll go first. All so right. I built kind of a, um, a deserted town design here. We got some resistance troopers. I used some troopers from the 2016 Rogue One, but I thought it would be okay. Um, first off, we have a Snipers. I forgot his name, but he was a pretty cool character. He came in the Y-Wing set, which unfortunately I sold. So that was kind of a bummer. But we also have another Sniper guy. Right here, he's in like a destroyed kind of like a window with a chain link across, which I thought I was really good at detail. We also have like a little bridge. Like if you see in The Mandalorian, I forget which episode, but the one with Ahsoka in it, there was like a little bridge wall across. And I kind of want to have that design to it. Now we kind of have like a town center, a marketplace ruined kind of. I'll get it angled right here. We have some resistance troopers talking about what plan they're going to do. I also added this tree right here. To, I thought it would look cool, like just coming out of the walls and hitting the rooftops, as well as that like the building has been crushed. And I thought that was really cool. We also have a woman trying to climb up the walls right here so she can get to a sniping tower. I put a, um, a, bear, a basket right here so she could put her gun uh, seat here. And I thought that was pretty cool. I also put a droid a droid in here because I thought they probably need an astromech to find their way um, to destroy the um, resistance, not the resistance, <laughs> the uh, first order. So I like the arches and yeah, why don't we, um, could you go ahead and show yours? Yeah, that definitely looks cool. I also like the uh, teal droid there. That looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, I think it came in the Y-Wing if I remember, but yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I put one instead of like an abandoned town, I went with more of like a jungle scene. So what I pretty much have going is I pretty much like built my own like troop carrier sort of thing. And you can kind of fold down for, oh gosh, you can fold it down for like the troopers to, you know, run out and deploy. And then you can fold that back up, but it, it can actually hold like six of them. And then in the back there, we also have a guy with some controls and like thrusters and stuff. And once again, I went for like more of a jungle scene, I guess. And then I put one of the speeders that came in the like uh, first order, like Sith Trooper battle pack thing. And I put one of those in there. I also put just like a regular, you know, first order trooper that's not red. And then we have a general like driving it. And then I also put a guy on like a jetpack. So they have these like jetpack troopers. So I put them on like a clear piece and then gave them flames. So it looks like he's kind of like shooting up. And I think that part turned out pretty cool. And then you have a guy on the ground and stuff. But I mean, that's about it. Um, it's pretty much just like a jungle scene. And it's just got, you know, two big vehicles and the guys on the ground, like, attacking them. I really like the fire piece that you have on the um, jetpack trooper. It looks really cool. Yeah, thanks. I didn't know whether I wanted to use, like, a smaller flame piece or, like, a bigger flame piece. But I'm kind of glad I went with the bigger flame piece because it looks like it's really, like, shooting up. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, thanks. So I love that Peter, it look kind of, looks kind of like an A-Wing and a First Order Transporter mixed together. Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So I guess we could put them kind of next to each other like that. So I could have my guys like that. And you, you could have your guys like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess they're attacking each other. Who, yeah. do, you think, who do you think would win? Uh, I think you have more troops, and I think they're more satisfied <laughs> with <laughs> their order. So, and they're kind of scattered, so I don't think they're um, expecting the attack right now. So, I think yours would win. Yeah, yours still looks pretty good, though. I mean, it doesn't like necessarily look like an army all lined up, but it definitely looks like a really cool, like rundown town kind of apocalyptic feel. I like it. I kind of went with like like Clone Wars design because I like more like Clone Wars ruined city because yeah. I've been watching. Wars a lot recently and I, I forget which episode but Anakin was invading like kind of a city and then he found out he was going to protect it or something I forget which episode it is and that kind of inspired me so yeah I haven't actually seen the Clone Wars I've been like kind of meaning to see it I just haven't watched it yet it's it's really good I think yeah. you'll like it how many seasons are there 
Uh, I'm pretty sure the seventh season just came out like a year ago when COVID happened. Oh, wow. That's a lot of seasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the seventh season. So I was watching that when I was in my time home. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did you watch the uh, Mandalorian? Do you like that? Oh, yes. I love that. Yeah, that's really good. I think, yeah, I've watched that, and that's really good. Uh, I'm planning on getting the Cruiser, Moff Gideon's Cruiser. Oh, yeah. And my birthday. Yeah. I want to see, like, pictures of that before I, like, decide if I want to buy it or not. But it definitely seems pretty cool. I don't know if you know M&R Productions. Oh, yeah. But I think he talked a little bit that the pictures haven't come out yet, but he's seen the leaks or something. But mm-hmm. his latest video. Yeah. I'm talking about May the 4th promo. Oh, yeah. Did you see the new R2-D2 set? I haven't, like, oh, made a video on that. but I think you should. It looks really good. And I can't – I love the head design of it. Oh, yeah. I think it's – yeah, it's, like, better rounded off, I think. Yeah. The 2011 design wasn't that pleasant, though. Yeah. I mean, they didn't – it's not, like, crazy different. Like, I saw, like, a comparison thing, and it wasn't, like, super different. I have a question about your mock. What kind of style did you use for it? Um, like for the grass and everything? Did you make it level or did you make it kind of like tilted and everything? Um, I could actually probably take the speeders off and show you a little bit better, actually. It's really kind of a mi- mix match of like different colors and different kind of textures. It's a little hard building ground. Like I'm not exactly great at it, but I just kind of tried to add different textures and plants and stuff it didn't turn out like incredible but obviously it gets like covered up by the speeders so it doesn't really matter too much of what it looks like i think i found it a really great design to use so you know the spring-loaded shooters yeah right? you know things i kind of added that kind of like um what do you call it ground ground and gravel yeah i saw that design and i think i was on youtube or something and i saw that design like ooh, that looks really good and i tried to put incorporate it with this build yeah, that looks really cool. I've used that in a couple of mocks that I haven't really shown on my channel it's before I had a YouTube channel, but I used to do that. It looks good for like walls on kind of spaceships and stuff. Sometimes it's good for that. Personally, I just don't like the spring loaded shooters. Yeah. The thing is, if you shake it, you can hear like the little spring in there. Yeah, the rattling. Always kind of we- got on my nerves a bit. That's why I kind of stopped doing it. Let's see if we can hear it. Just barely. I think the chain down the way, but I could yeah. hear it barely. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty cool mop. I like it. As well as I saw those circular pieces on your mock. Are those um the circular roundish pieces that have the hole in them? Um I think so. Just like on the ground or what? Yeah, on the ground. Are those pick brick pieces? Because I've never seen any of it in that color. Uh I it's probably just from some old set that I had broken. I found it in my bin. I had a couple of them. Like this piece? Yeah. This one? No, the circular one. The one has the circle on it. I think it's on the, like the... Thing. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. This guy? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I, I think that was from a creator set, I want to say, but I'm not 100% sure. Fun fact, I've never had a creator set or I've never done a prick a brick. Prick really? pick a brick. Yeah. Uh when I was little, I never saw the use for them. And my mom always said, You guys have tons of Legos in the um, what do you call it? In like um boxes. So why do you need a pick a brick? But now I see the use for them. Yeah, I mean, I've never I've never done a pick a brick either, and I don't really have a use for them because I have a bunch of parts for building mocks over there that I use instead. I have I used to be really, really into creator when I was a little kid because A, they're like a really, really good deal. Like they're always pretty cheap, which is good. And Plus, you, even though it doesn't like look incredible, you can build it into two or three different things, which I always liked like as a little kid, I guess. Yeah, I like I like the um three in ones. I think I got the the newish one, the rocket ship yet. I got it for a gift for um uh, our neighbor or something. Hmm. That's cool. And, um, he got three in one and then each day he would come and he would give me, he would show me which one he built. Like each day he would build a different one. It was pretty cool. Hmm. That's neat. Yeah. There's also like creator expert and that's not exactly creator, but I'm really into that. And the only ones I've bought so far, are like the bookshop over there and the Aston Martin, which is on my other shelf, but 
those are both really good sets and i feel like lego does like a lot of really good creator expert sets like that's one of my favorite themes they have i, I unless the ideas counts as the creator expert i think that's the only like the lego ideas um fishing shop i oh. have that one i got that one for my birthday uh i think that's the only like creator expert to say yeah but i guess it's called ideas so do you have any other like idea sets well i did have the tron hmm. and then I, it got lost uh because yeah. i was a huge fan of tron like when the new movie came out uh, oh so yeah there's like my... motorcycles yeah like the this ones look... have the blue yeah. line yeah this looks super cool i never watched tron but they did look cool i think it just got released on disney plus because of the fox deal or something so yeah the... that's cool i um the only idea set I actually like own now is Steamboat Willie, but my brother has a couple, like the friend set over there and the ship in a bottle and Sesame Street and the pop up book. And when I was literally there, I bought like the, uh, the like maze, the labyrinth maze. Do you remember that set? Yeah, I remember that. That's like the, that's like old OG. Yeah, that was super cool because you could actually crank it and make your own tracks and stuff. And it, that was a dope set. I just, broke it for some reason i think the next idea set i'm gonna get is the seinfeld one it's supposed to come out oh yeah i've seen that I, there's I, not like pictures yet i don't think but there's not ones but it, um if you watch talk bricks or anything oh yeah i, I watch that sometimes uh he said that it's supposed to be like the next idea set out after winning the poo or something hmm. so i cannot wait to get that set that's gonna be really cool yeah the main like idea set i guess i want would be like the treehouse i think that's epic like i really like the fall colored leaves on there i don't really have oh. any fall colored leaves but i'm a huge fan of like fall i guess and so that whole like treehouse fall design just looks incredible the only thing i'd have i think i might have a problem with it is because you have to t it takes a lot of time tearing out the leaves and everything yeah putting leaves. so i mean hey i guess if you could if there was like i think there's pick a brick white leaves if i'm not mm. mistaken I think yeah. in the sets, but I've never bought any frozen sets. But I swear I've seen these at like a con or something like that. Yeah, I think I got like a year or two ago for Christmas. I got like the little Ray versus Kylo Ren set, and oh, it was, was in like a snowy forest or something. But it had some like white trees in there. It was cool. That was a good set. I I don't think, uh, I don't think the Obi Wan. Um, versus the Anakin one, I don't think it's doing that well because I've gone to my Walmarts and they're just they have a huge pile of them of the sets. Yeah. Huh. I haven't I saw like 501st Battle Packs on sale. I was in my vlog and I've never seen them like on sale before which is kind of crazy. At my Walmart, nobody buys Lego, but at <laughs> my Target it does. everybody buys it. So whenever you go to Walmart, everything's on sale. Everything. And That's sort of the not that good of a deal yeah that's sort of the opposite for me like i feel like walmart's usually pretty empty and usually target has a fair amount of stuff at least where i live uh i think you know the video lego video oh yeah that's weird i don't want to buy that <laughs> <laughs> same um i've uh i've gone to my walmart and nobody has laid a finger on them like they're still in the box like like they're out of the box, but they're like still in there. You can like see the rows and everything. Yeah, there's also targets and everything, and it's just funny. Yeah, I I don't really have any interest in this. It has some like neat looking minifigs, like that llama guy. Like that looks pretty epic, but I don't. Really... I think I think the electro guy, kind of guitar guy, looks really cool to me. Oh yeah, he does look neat. And that like I don't know, they have a bunch of like completely random minifigs, but it's pretty cool. But I think what you're going to get, the price per piece is not that well on that. Like $20 for a minifigure and then like a little box that has little printed tiles. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you were going to make a mock of like a, a modular building, those tiles would be great to use. But I think that's the only thing that I could imagine. Oh, yeah. What do you think of the new Luigi starter pack? I've been meaning to make a video on it, but I haven't. Wait, yet. there's so Luigi. Oh, I'm going to look that up. I haven't seen that. You haven't seen it? No. Seriously? Yeah, I'm serious. I've never seen that. Oh, it, it's really cool. Yeah, look it up. It's it's epic. I will. I will after this. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like it's like Mario, but his head is a little bit taller up, and apparently, like you 
it's gonna have it so it can sync with Mario and you can like play it two player. Like one person can play Luigi and one person can play Mario and like whoever gets the most points at the end wins. And was, that sounds epic, but waiting for Yoshi. I'm not Yoshi, uh um Luigi one. And I was like, you know, if they do Luigi one, I might buy it maybe, but yeah. It, it's really cool. I think now they need to make like a Wario starter pack. I think that would be just absolutely <laughs> crazy, but it would be epic. Oh, yeah, Wario. I used to use him whenever I played the Wii. Yeah, I I play him sometimes in Mario Kart because I'm a big Mario Kart fan. Oh, yeah, same here. I it... The Rainbow Road, those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have the Wii one or what? I had the Wii. I never had a Wii U or anything. I just had, the like, the Wii. I got it yeah. for my birthday. Same. Like, a year or two ago, we bought a Switch, and we got, like, the Mario Kart on that. And it, it's fine, but it's not as good as just, like, the classic Wii one. Yeah. I have a Switch as well. Yeah. I think they're they're really um, – the only interest I had in um, – because I didn't have that money, a lot of money at that time. I was currently saving for a car, which I still am. But the 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 Switch did not have compatible – the light was not compatible with Super Smash Bros. Mm. Uh, and I was disappointed because that was the main reason I was buying one. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool how you can have it as, like, a console on the TV – but then you can also take it when you're traveling and just take it and play on it like handheld or whatever. It's really cool. The only problem I have with it is because the Wi-Fi, like when you're in the middle of a game or something, it'll just turn off and your whole thing, your, it would go to black screen and restart. That's the only problem. I haven't really had that problem that much. Oh, well, I guess it's just me. I, I, I guess I need to get a GameStop, I like a new version of GameStop or something. But yeah. Yeah. All right, do you want to be done or what? It's almost at like 20 minutes. It's going to be a pretty cool oh, video. Oh, okay. We can be done. Just sign off of that. Sign off for that. <laughs> All right. So, Seabrick Productions, sign off for now. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out BL Bricks' channel. His link will be in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.